This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers, so I have a couple of cricketing stories that I want to zoom in on But before we go any further, I'm just going to ask you to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button If you have already subscribed, please remember to leave a like on the video and also drop a comment Now, young Jaden Seals, he has been sanctioned for using what they consider to be inappropriate language against Hassan Ali So I'm going to be giving you guys a background of exactly what happened also, further down in the video, I want to look at some allegations that were brought against a couple of England players, you know, cricketers, saying that they were caught tampering with the ball. And you notice I said allegations because I haven't seen the video. I saw a couple of pictures, but, you know, pictures don't really tell much. So, we're going to be looking at that. A couple of past England, um, England cricketers along with current cricketers would have come out and would have given their, 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 their thoughts on what actually happened. And uh, just to let you know, India, they have actually won the test match. Yeah, man, so a thrilling test match, they were able to pull it off. All right, so kicking things off with the Jaden Seals incident. So the incident happened in the 78th over of uh, Pakistan's innings. And while I was watching, I noticed that there was an exchange between Jaden Seals and Hassan Ali. But I wasn't sure what it was all about. I wasn't sure what was said. I, 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 could, I could see that it was something that wasn't pleasant, but I wasn't sure. Now, Sports Kida, they are reporting that after getting Hassan Ali out, Jaden Seals used what is considered to be an unacceptable language. So, you know, a demerit point is now placed beside his name. And according to, to Article 2.5, of the ICC code of conduct Jaden Seals did breach so the section speaks to and I quote using language actions or gestures which disparage or which could provoke an aggressive reaction from a batter upon dismissal during an international match so based on what happened there Jaden Seals is being charged or you know he's, he was warned saying that that uh language that he would have used wasn't appropriate now it is reported that seals pleaded guilty to the offense therefore no formal hearing will be will be held so apparently umpire brathwaite and another umpire along with jane seals they did the little conduct um conduction of all of that on the field they warned him that they told him what is what and he accepted it so no formal hearing now as regards to my thoughts my viewers and subscribers on this matter it was just passion and youthful exuberance, in my opinion. I don't want people to think that I am being biased because the youth is, is wasting. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. I, I wouldn't want him to, at the end of the day still, I wouldn't want him to develop that sort of reputation as he is a promising young, young bowler. You understand? So we don't want him to become known for that. But having said that, if we are going to be honest about the situation though, loads of good aggressive pacers would have you know overstepped that line so i i won't even make too much of a big deal over it you understand we we, we we don't want him to to really become known for this because people who would want to probably give him a sponsorship or an endorsement might not want their brands to be identified with his sort of style but you know a man stepping over the line every now and again i'm sure that is something that you know it's not the first as I said, he's a young man trying to bowl his team to victory, trying to make a statement. So that is just youthful exuberance coming out there. Uh, I mean, growing up and watching cricket, even this great Sir Kirtley Ambrose, you know, when I was a bit young and watching him, I could see his, the, the movement of his mouth and of his lips on the television when he was cursing. Say, for example, he bowled and he, he got hit for a four or a, a field, a misfield. You could see the lips moving you know to to, to base basically you know you, you can't you can't see that what he's saying is not necessarily the, the, the best word or the queen's language as they would want to put it so Jaden C is doing something like this i am sure that he will learn from it kemar roach and the other pace bowlers jason holler who carries himself like a profesh true professional those guys will definitely speak to him captain bradwitt will speak to him about it 
and I, I, I am not expecting a repeat of this. Even so, even if I exp if if there is a repeat, I'm not expecting it to be anytime soon. You understand? So you know the youth was was overjoyed, and as I said earlier, you know though we 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 definitely don't want him to 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 go down that road or down that route. We need him to be able to keep his emotions in check to a certain extent because we don't want him to be getting sanctioned every now and every minute because of that. You understand? But um, it, it's it's nothing much to make a big deal out of. You know, a lot of persons haven't said anything about it. I'm not sure if it is the case where they, where, where they haven't seen the article, but it is there. It is going around, uh, you know, on, on, on social media platform. I think it is even up on the, on the Cricket West Indies um, website. So 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 that, that that is nothing, in my opinion, to, to really tear down the youngster for. We just need to talk to him and make sure he understand what is what. You understand? So that is it where, where the Jaden Seals story is concerned. Moving on over to that test match there that just concluded between India and England. And they are, yeah, before I go any further, just to let you know that India, they have actually managed to pull off the victory. So excellent um, test match there. Joe Root getting over 180, I think it was. And Rahul was able to get a nice solid 100 and about 29. So it was a good test match. So we don't want this little rumors that is out there to overshadow it. But um, it is up by, a dif by, by different platforms. You understand Sportsmax have article on it, ESPN. So I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Now, according to all of these new sources that I just listed, uh, rumors are floating around, you know, about a ball tampering incident between in that same game there. So viewers, the Circle of Cricket website, especially is reporting on what took place on day four of that match between india and england so there is a video going around i haven't seen it still enough showing a couple of england players allegedly using the spikes under the shoes to 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 alter the ball you understand and you notice i use the word allege or allegedly what was was to, um altering the ball with the, with the spikes that is what they are saying now, they, they, they are saying that instead of picking up the ball with his hand, Robinson passed the ball to Mark Wood using his shoes instead of picking it up. Now, the problem with this now is that the, the spikes are underneath the butt, um, the, the, the toe part of the boat. So, you see, the problem with that now, if you are going to use the bottom part of the, of the shoes to, to pass it, then I can see where people would, would, would become suspicious. You understand? And... Um, I, I can't really give my, my, my verdict on it as I would have said. I haven't seen the, the, the video. What I have seen is a screenshot of the, the, the boat underneath the spike. Uh, you understand? So I can't really go down into it like that. You understand? But um, if the spikes, if they know that the spikes is there, so there's no reason to step on the ball except you want to alter it. But as I said, I haven't seen you hear the amount of time I say it because I know how people in the comment section uh, section stay. They, 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 I haven't seen the video. I've only seen the screenshot. Now, a lot of England players have come out to the defense of the team. Stuart Broad especially came out and he tweeted that based on what he saw there, you know, um, the player was just trying to nutmeg the next player by rolling the ball through his leg. You understand? But um, the... the, the, the the people, uh, well, people would have just put out a screenshot which made it look bad instead of, you know, showing the video which showed everything clearly. So Stuart Brad is definitely defending his players, saying that all was happening there was the fact that he went to pick up the bar but he just used the issues to roll it. You know, like when you want a salad man or a nutmeg man. So Stuart, um, Stuart Brad is saying that is what happened there. You understand? But we haven't heard anything much about it, so we, we are going to we are going to wait and see. Maybe the fact that India ended up winning the game. We we, we you know that's why we haven't seen we haven't seen a lot of articles floating around about it. You understand? But it, it was a good test match, as I said. We don't want this to, to really overshadow the thing. But India, they, 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 they actually won the game. And there is there is another article that I may be going to look at in another video where um, I think it was James Anderson was heard saying saying in the in the in the stumps mic to the umpire if only Cole is allowed to is allowed to, 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 to use expletives. So apparently Cole would have said something and James Anderson was replying and the umpire was warning him. So he was saying, Well, is it 
Coley alone that, that gets that favor to use certain words. But I, I am going to zoom in on that article maybe on a live and let us have a discussion around it. But um, the, the main topic that I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that Jaden Seals, he was warned a demerit point put beside his name and he pleaded guilty for it and has moved on. So we're going to leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Guys, big up on yourselves, Zane. I'm out.